What is going on everybody? It is Alex from Everything for iPod and today I will be benchmarking the brand new HTC One M8. The first thing I usually do when I open up a new device is put it through a series of benchmark tests. And while they're not always 100% accurate, they do give a pretty good representation of what a device can handle. To start off, before each test, I closed every application that was open. That way, each benchmark would have a fair starting ground. The first test we'll be doing is Geekbench 3, and right when I open it up, you can see all the specs for the HTC One M8. As you can see, it's running Android 4.4.2 KitKat with HTC Sense 6 on top of it. It also has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 quad-core CPU clocking it at 2.27 GHz, and it has 1.78 GB of RAM. Now that all the specs are out of the way, I can run the test, and thanks to editing, we are already at the end. The new HTC One got a single core score of 948 and a multi core score of 2555, which is considered a very good score. And when compared to other devices, it really screams that the new HTC One is a top tier smartphone. As far as where the score actually places, it's very high up there and it's right around the same score that the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 is receiving. The next benchmark I ran was Antutu, which mixes processing power as well as graphics power together, whereas Geekbench tests purely the processing power of the phone. After the test, it read out a score of 36,336, which is at the top of the list, even above the Note 3. I can't confirm exactly how accurate this is, but even if it isn't at the top of the list, the new HTC One is definitely a very powerful phone. The last benchmark I ran was 3D Mark, and specifically the Ice Storm Unlimited test, which tests strictly the graphics power of the phone. This benchmark kind of killed two birds with one stone because it also tested out the boom sound front facing speakers. It produces some really cool audio effects, so I'll let you listen in for a little bit before I jump to the end of the test, but you're not going to be able to capture everything that's coming through. So if you have an HTC One M8 or you know someone that has one, Download the 3D Mark application and try the test for yourself so you can listen to exactly what it sounds like in person. After a couple of minutes, I got a score of 20,681, which, like all of the other tests, is also considered a pretty high score for 3D Mark. As I scroll down to the details, you can see the individual frame rates for each portion of the test, and the frame rate stayed consistently high. It was a very high frame rate, and the graphics overall looked really good, and the sound sounded great as well. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, I will be posting more videos on this guy, so if you would like to see those, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of those. Thank you, and I'll catch you in my next video. See ya.